Psalms chapter 40 to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. I wait patiently for the Lord. That's kind of funny because how many songs we've we done about David? Oh, Lord, hurry. That's what man is. You know, our stand is in Christ, but our state, we're here, there, everywhere. We're waiting on the Lord. We're impatient with the Lord. We trust in the Lord. Lord, why ain't you answering me? And he, God, inclined unto me. He listened to me and heard my cry. God, he brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. That's Jeremiah, too. And set my feet upon a rock. That'd be Jesus. And established my going. So David was in a downfall. David was in a pit. David was down. And David wasn't just down. He was under. And God lifted him up. God would take care of us. And then put him on a solid rock ground. He has put a new song in my mouth. We find that expression in Revelation 14, 3, and 2 Corinthians 5, 17. You know, the Hindu is good. But why don't we sing our own songs to the Lord? Why don't we find instrumental of the hymns as I do? And why can't we, as I do, sing our own words to our heart to God? And it would be personal. And it would be ours before God and not to be ever be written down. Except for if God writes it down. And our new song would be every day, every week, every month, every year. But what God's blessing us and what God hasn't blessed us. Because Psalms is, hey, you're up on a mountain. Psalms is, you're down in the pit. That's below a, a valley. You're on a straight rock and you're in mire. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Our personal testimony ought to speak to other people like, wow. And that's one of the things I, I really don't like about God is he will do things to people for other people to get. <laughs> As I wrote today on Facebook, God told Ezekiel, I'm going to kill your wife with a stroke as an example of what the children of Israel are going to do. And it's sorry the children of Israel did not learn. It's worse when they don't learn from what God does to you. Blessed, happy is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. True. And respecteth not the proud. Sin. Nor such a churn aside to lie. Now happy is the man that trusts the Lord, not pride. Look at me. You know, I'm English. I'm American. Look how good I am. And then go to lie. Many, O oh Lord my God, O oh Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. You know, when John writes about Jesus Christ, three and a half years, not 33 years, three and a half years of his ministry, John said even there would be no accounting to the books that would be written if you did the complete life of Jesus Christ. When we read the gospel, <coughs> excuse me, when we read the gospel, we're just getting a little tiny bit of what Jesus has done. When we read the life of Paul in the book of Acts and, and the epistles that he wrote, we're just getting a little tiny bit. 
We got a little tiny bit of the story of David. We don't have his entire life. We don't have the entire life of Abraham, Daniel. And yet with God, everything he has done for Adam, to the man that was just born today. And he said, well, what kind of blessing is that? You know, the unsaved people. Jesus said, God makes it to rain on the just and unjust. And when you're going to make a list of counting your many blessings, name them one by one. True. And there are blessings we don't even know. I could have had today, I could have had a clot or a clot for me. I don't know. And God said, no. Let it go. Let it pass. Uh, somebody was somebody was pausing at a red light. Light turned green, and I got stuck at the red light. A blessing meant God may have prevented me from an accident. So even the great works of God, we may not know what God has done to us to count the many blessings. Which thou hast done, and thy thoughts, God's thoughts, which are to us were. Think about God thinking about us. God wants the best for us. And in that, as our father, he's thinking the best of us. That father with the prodigal son, you know what he was doing? He was thinking of the son. And when the son finally came walking down the street or the long, whatever it was, the Bible says the father ran out to the son that was on his mind. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. We can't count your many blessings. That's a wonderful great hymn. Yeah, count them. You, we can't count them. It's impossible. And I advise you to mark your Bibles, as Jeremiah says, who has marked the word. I advise you, and I, <clears throat> I'd be careful how I say this, because their churches have a book of prayer. Or a prayer book. I would, And I would say, I would have a book that you use with people's names and events you're praying for. And I have such a thing right here, mine. And I got people's names. I don't even know if they're alive. I don't know if they're saved. I don't know. And I got circumstances in this book. When I go through this book every day and I pray, and I go through it, oh, wow. And I got yellow like it's, it's been answered or it's done. And I mark in my Bible. I got a name here from somebody that I know and I'm praying for. There's a prayer here from my mom with the MS. There's, there's a prayer here about... Tracy, first time she had her sugar problem, and there's a, a, a prayer help. We pray, uh, Lisa and I pray for a, a son or daughter. Here's somebody who had died. Here's a woman who, who, who was pregnant with a child, and, you know, the child that was born. Over here, I got, you know, my daughter was born a day, and I got Dr. Slater, and I, I got names over here. You may not know. And I go through, and I got all these things, you know, this happened on this date. Lord God, I just wrote today when we're reading in, uh, uh, Numbers 220, 2020, Lord, my ear, it's need I need healing. But then it was what was written down there. There was a problem I had a long time ago with a wiper motor on my car, and I had to write down answered in my Bible. I got I got places in here. I'm again. I'm looking for a wife, and there are places in the Bible before when my first wife died. Looking for a wife, and then hey, the Lord gave me Tracy. I look at oh yeah, okay. God took care of that. God took care of that. Still praying for that. Still praying for that person. You ought to have a list and keep track of some of those things. How well God is. But we can't keep track of them all. There are things that have happened to us today. We don't know. If God would allow it or God would not allow it. To count our blessings. 
if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than they they are more than can be numbered. I just I just said that. All right, you start writing down, okay? All right, I'm gonna write down. I'm gonna. I'm not making fun to him, but I'm gonna count my many blessings. Okay, number one, I can write. Number one, I can write. Number two, I can see what I'm writing. Number three, I can comprehend what I'm writing. Number four, I got a piece of paper I can write on. Number five, I got a pen I can use. Number six, I got a mind that's thinking clearly to write. Just to say, I'm going to count my many, but look at the blessings already. And go into, I'm fearfully, wonderfully made. <laughs> yeah, the fact is, my body is working right now. You don't need to plug me in. And how great the heart is. And how the, the heart functions. And yet, you can't be numbered, David says. Sacrifice and offerings thou does not desire. My ears has thou opened. I'm listening. Burn offerings and sin offerings thou has not required. It's kind of weird because that's what David said when he sinned his sin. Verse 7 to 10, it's about the Lord Jesus Christ. Finding Hebrews. Then said I, God, lo, I, God, come in the volume of the book that was written of me. You find that in Hebrews. I will delight, I will delight to do thy will, O oh my God. That's David and that's Jesus. Thy law is within my heart. That's David and Jesus. I have preached righteousness in a great congregation. Now, where did David do that? All right, he's the king of Israel, maybe. But Jesus done it. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. Uh, David would have. I have. I just tell my pastor last night, you know, we're talking about, you know, the street ministries. And God will tell me, you know, go give that guy a gospel check and I'll fight God. No, look at that guy. I'm a street preacher. I'm saying, God, look at that guy. I'm afraid of that guy. I'm afraid to give that cashier a gospel tract. Not Jesus. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth. From the great congregation. That's all Jesus, seven to ten. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me. David's David got finished. Listen, God, I can't count. Innumerable. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's a prayer for yourself. So I, I used to hear when I first got saved, you don't pray for yourself, you pray for others. But David's saying, Lord, you're doing a great job. I can't count the job. He says, work. He says, thy wonderful works. I can't count. You're doing a great job, God. I got a request. Yes, David? Keep doing it. O Lord, let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. <laughs> Take care of me, Lord. Love me, Lord. Take care of me. Keep giving me the mercy. Keep giving me the grace, David saying to God. Lord, you, you, great numbers, great works. Woo. Keep on doing it, Lord. Don't stop. For innumerable evils have compassion and compassed me about. God, you're so great. You're so wonderful. You know what I am? You know what's innumerable about me as, as a human being? I'm wicked. I'm a sinner. I'm vile and I'm evil. But what you are, God, I am completely opposite. David's confessing, I'm a sinner. My iniquity, there is, have taken hold upon me so that I am not able to look up. That's that man that Jesus said he, he wouldn't even look up to heaven. He smoked his breast 
Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. There it is. You got to wonder. There it is. I don't remember what was said about that guy. I, I would go look it up, but could he have been talking about David? I don't know. But there's David. He says, I can't even look up. Animal, many animals can't look up. They are more than the hairs of my head, my sins. That is totally opposite of God. All the mercy, great blessings, wonderfulness, thankfulness, loveliness. God, I can't count them. Me, my sins, my wickedness, my... Can't count them. Therefore, my heart faileth me. Heart failure. Why? Because I'm a sinner. Be pleased, O oh Lord, to deliver me. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Lord God, you know, you know, be the pleasant thing for you to do, Lord, that makes you please. I forget how Isaiah Isaiah fifty three said, but it says it pleased the Lord that they they abused Jesus Christ. Here's Jesus right there again. God delighted in the brutality of Jesus for our sins. David says, Lord, the only thing that make you please if you would wash me of my sins. Because I'd be clean. I would be a son of yours that you can say, look, at, there he is. Look at that. Or, yeah, look at that kid again. Oh, man. Yeah, he's mine. Make haste to help. Lord, I need to help. Look at David. When it comes to my sins, Lord, they're innumerable. They're more than heads of my head. Lord, I need help with them. Let them be ashamed and confound, confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Now, these are David's enemies. Let them be driven backwards, backslidden, and be put to shame that wish me evil. David's enemies. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, 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 look at that. We're going to get them. We got them. David says, Reward them with desolation. Let all those that seek thee. Okay, now we're going. <coughs> excuse me. Now we're going back to, the, to those that love the Lord. Let all those that seek thee, God, Rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. Lift the Lord up. Look closely into the Lord. Study the Lord. Why? Because I'm glad. Why? Because I'm rejoicing. Why? Because he's forgiven me. Why? Because he loves me. Why? Because I can't count how much how good he is to me. Why? Because I'm a sinner. And he'd be pleased to clean. Listen, the Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. God is pleased that he wrote that in there and said, I will be happy if you will confess that. I'm not happy you're doing it, but I'd be pleased if you would say, hey, Lord, I need to be clean. And Lord, you know that sin? I need help. But I am poor and needy. We all are, David. Yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Don't, as a Christian, ever put yourself way down. Paul says, you know what? I want to do good. I don't do good. And that what I don't want to do, I do. I just thank God that I'm saved by the grace of Jesus Christ and I'm going home. Paul never was in a slump that, you know, I'm just a miserable, rotten sinner. And God's going to, you know, he's going to crush me. And Paul didn't do that. For thou art my help and my deliverer. From what? Sin. God is able and will deliver us from sin. And when you do it, Lord, make no tearing. Don't delay, Lord. He said, listen, I'm poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help. 
Help me what? I'm poor and needy. I need something, Lord. Wait a minute. I am make notarian. All right, let's run back to verse 1. I waited patiently. Uh, David, when you're waiting patiently, you're not saying, Lord, hurry up. See, within 17 verses, David has changed his thing. And you say, well, you know, there, there are people out there, Christian, oh, pride, how great. And what David's like, oh, Lord God, I am just, and by the time he finishes the chapter, Lord, will you hurry? Oh, my God. That's a term of respect. Now, maybe, oh, the trouble. Poor and needy, Lord. I, I need something, Lord. Please don't, Lord, the bill has to be paid. Lord God, help me, Lord. Help me now. Can't wait. Oh, my God. But I waited patiently for the Lord. That's our state. And it's perfect to remember that America has 50 states. If you're down in the worst of the dumps, think of yourself in California. The worst state. And if you feel all alone and no one caring about you, eh, you're Hawaii. You're out there all by yourself in the middle of nowhere. And our state is wishy-washy. We're high on the Lord. Oh, boom. We're in the valley. How great is our God? Oh, God help us. But the Christian standing is, you're in Christ, you can't get out of Christ, you're not ever going to get out of Christ, wonderful, great, oh, life is terrible. That's the state. 